Hey, what's up guys and welcome to my new C++ video. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to set up C++ in Linux environment and how to write a very simple C++ code like hello world using different methods. Okay, let's get started. And to do this, we need to open a terminal here. I'm gonna maximize the terminal. And the first step I would like to do, I, I would like to update and upgrade all packages in Linux. And, and let's type sudo app get updates. Uh, updates and hit enter. Use your password and and the next one I'm gonna upgrade it. If something changed, yes, and. And also, I, I would like to make sure I'm building the essential packages in Linux environment. And to do this, you could use command call sudo app get install build essentials. Or you, if you want something specific after build essential, you could say like, okay, I want G++ or G, GCC version like 4.7 or something like that. Okay, after this upgrade, and we are going to do it as well and just make sure everything in terms of the essential packages are solid and to do this and i'm gonna do install install build essential and there is nothing here and at when it's finished i all i also would like to do something like auto clean and auto remove to remove and clean all uh, uh, packages and also remove and unused packages and to do this and sudo app get uh, auto clean Okay, and now so we have everything ready almost and then let's let's just make sure that we have all packages and then what we need we need G++ and then to see if we have it or not uh, dash dash version and yes we have 5.4 version 5.4 here and also I would like to do the same thing with GCC yes 5.4 and also I need to I because I'm gonna use CMake to generate a make file for C++ code I want to know if I have CMake or not okay CMake version I'm pretty sure I have it but so 3.2.2 uh, and if you don't have it and yet you just need to get, uh, use this command and so the apt get install cmake okay cmake and then if you hit enter and then it's gonna install it but that's fine because i already have it and it's gonna reinstall it okay and now if i check cmake version yes point three point mm, two point two I'm gonna teach you how to write a simple C++ code using uh, using a terminal and to do this I'm gonna create a directory so let's call it hello world okay and then if I will go inside of hello world directory and then you see I don't have anything here so I'm gonna create a a C++ file called hello world.cpp and to do this I'm gonna use touch hello world.cpp okay and I'm gonna open this uh, cpp file okay I, 
I, I think I have an edit here, but you could uh, you could open it with any kind of text editor. And then hello world. So I'm gonna close it. In a, okay. And now, so what I have here is like a simple text editor with hello world plus cpp. And so I'm gonna write so include io stream. Okay, using namespace std int main and then close this. Okay, and so uh, see out okay Hello. and line and return That's it. Okay, this is like very simple C++ code uh, to, uh, to write hello world on the screen. I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna close this. Okay, now the question is now we have so hello world and then you could see what we have here include IO stream using namespace std int main c out hello world end line and return zero. All right. So to uh, to make the executable uh, object file out of the C++ file using uh, C++, I'm gonna use G++ dash O for object, and uh, I will call the executable file hello. And which source file I'm going I'm gonna use is C hello world .cpp file. And then if I hit enter, and it will generate the executable file. And then you could see like the green one is a, an executable file and then to write so to write hello world on the screen and we just need to run this hello and then you see and here we could be able to generate our hello world I'm gonna teach you how to uh, write C++ or very and very simple hello world C++ code using CMake file Okay, and then we already uh, have CMake and the first step inside of the hello world. Okay, I just have hello world.cpp file and I need to generate the CMake list.txt file. CMake list.txt. Please be careful. C, M, and L should be like uppercase and because that's the style and format for CMake. And then here now I have CMake list.txt and I'm gonna use an edit to open CMake list.txt. And then here, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna write some commands here. So the first one will be CMake underscore minimum required where will be the version so I had 3.2.2 okay and the next line I will I will name my project okay so I had hello World, my project name and then I'm gonna in the third line I'm gonna use add executable command so my executable for hello world.cpp will be hello 
and the source file for this one will be hello world.cpp okay just make sure everything is typed correctly and just that's it these three lines I'm gonna close this one and okay now you see I have two files cmake cmake lists.txt and hello world.cpp the next step to generate a make file I'm gonna call cmake space dot okay okay let's check the location here now we have like bunch of files generated by cmake we already had the cmake lists.txt now we have cmake cache.txt cmake files cmake install.cmake and make file so you could check the make file here and then you would see like it generated bunch of instead of uh, instead of generating this all of these commands by hand and we ask cmake hey cmake can you generate make file for this C hello world.cpp file and then that's it now so we we did cmake and now the next step just to make and to build so we uh, now is you see like build target and what kind of executable f uh, we built hello and we already included in cmake lists.txt now we have we should have the executable file here you see we have it here and the only thing we need to do we need to run this okay and then it will print hello world for us okay and that's it this is then second method how to how to write uh, c++ code using um, uh, CMake. All right. In the third method, I'm gonna talk about how to uh, generate and write a simple C++ code like Hello World using Eclipse IDE. To do this, let's start with uh, opening a browser here. And in this browser, I'm gonna search for Eclipse.org. And then here, if I click on Download and here I want to show you more packages here available package for Eclipse IDE and then if you click on download packages and then you could see like it has different uh, version of IDE for Java or <coughs> web developers but all I need is Eclipse IDE for C and C++ developer and if you click on it and you could easily download it for if you have a Windows or Mac OS or Linux uh, and you have a download link here for all of this so I'm not gonna download it because I, I've already downloaded it and it takes time to install it I'm gonna close this and this one as well and here what I'm gonna do I'm gonna call Eclipse and I'm gonna create a new workspace here it's called work space hello okay I'm gonna create it and I'm gonna open it okay and it is gonna load uh, Eclipse based on the defined workspace okay so I'm gonna close this window here what I have here is like a an empty workspace and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna create new simple C++ project so if you right click in the project Explorer environment and then click on a new and then C++ project and here I so I can accept the predefined hello world C++ project because I don't want to write it and then you could name your project here so I'm gonna write hello world. So next, I'm gonna accept the default configuration and then don't worry about the debug or release. And we will have a video about the difference and between debug and release version. And I'm gonna hit finish. And now I have this uh, hello hello world.cpp file 
which basically is nothing except like printing hello world on the screen now i'm gonna right click on this uh, hello world you could build the project if you want and it's gonna build the project and then you see like finish building target and it's created hello world executable file and all i need i need to run this uh, and to print hello world on screen right click on the project folder and then uh, uh, find run as local c and c plus plus application and it's gonna run uh, and print hello world on the screen and that's it and this is very simple and basic c plus plus code and write uh, how to write it in eclipse environment of course in uh, future uh, videos we will have in-depth discussion about debugging c plus plus code and using eclipse and i would like to share some of my experiences with you how to debug c plus plus code uh, or, or how to import uh, pre-existing code or project into the into eclipse and how to how to debug and run a specific part of the, uh, the code and i think uh, that's it and i hope you you guys like uh, this video and please make sure to subscribe the channel and to get updates about upcoming videos and uh, i'm really looking forward to having you in the next video thank you and bye for now